What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the just released 2010 Apple TV. Let's get started. All right, so this now minuscule guy is gonna set you back $99, a significant price drop from the previous version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box, and this box is indeed quite small. So you got a picture now of the black Apple TV on the front, nothing on the top, not even a little Apple logo, but there is one on the side. And you've got one on the right-hand side, which is telling you that it's got 802.11n Wi-Fi, and of course, an HDMI port. And talking about some of the specs on the back, uh, what the Apple TV does, essentially it streams content uh, from the iTunes store or from your computer directly to your television. Think of it as an iPod for your TV. So you can rent movies, you can rent TV shows, and you can actually watch now Netflix and other streaming content uh, right on your television. So let's go ahead and take a look at the previous generation first and see how this big guy transformed into this. You can see that there is definitely uh, quite a difference. The new Apple TV has abandoned physical storage, although it does have an eight gigabyte flash module in there. Uh, it's not user accessible. All content that comes through this Apple TV is going to be streaming only. So enough of me yabbering. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. And of course, we will bust out the big old knife for this one. Go ahead and cut on in. I've had an Apple TV since they were first released and I've used it quite a bit and I've been waiting for an update. I'm quite excited to see this and see if it lives up to the hype. Uh, it's be nice to have Netflix on demand uh, as well right on my TV without having to go through a video game console or uh, a different set top box. So I'll pull off the plastic. Looks like it's got a bit of a sleeve there which we will take off. And there is the Apple TV sitting right on top and this guy is very small. I mean incredibly small, uh, very light capable of streaming 720p video. Uh, similar parts to what we see in the iPad with the A4 system on a chip. Go ahead and push it off to the side for just a moment. You've got the new Apple aluminum or aluminum depending on where you are remote with the pretty standard array of buttons. You've got the up, down, left, right menu and play and pause. And that is very thin as well. Go ahead and see what else we're going to have in the box. We're going to have a power cord. The power brick is included and you've got a little bit of an Apple TV setup guide. And that is about it. I'll do a tour of the new Apple TV, the operating system, how it works, and see if it you know, holds a candle to the older version, whether or not it's worthwhile. In the meantime, let's go ahead and peel off the plastic. The bottom's got a uh, bit of a rubber feel to it. The Apple logo feels like it's a little bit of that soft touch rubber. Go ahead and peel off that plastic. I was wondering where the ports were. And that reveals the ports. Let's take a look at the ports on the new Apple TV. And there are not many to look at. You've got an ethernet port, but of course it has a uh, Wi-Fi. You've got optical audio, HDMI. There is a micro USB port, which is actually being used for diagnostic tests right now. However, that may have other uses in the future and the power cord. And that is it. This guy is very small. Let's just do a real quick size comparison with the new Apple TV versus the outgoing model uh, of Apple TV. And you'll see that this is really uh, no comparison here size-wise. And the thing is just minuscule. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions or things you want to see on the new Apple TV, be sure to let me know. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.